Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on here and talk about the Meg the Stallion Tory Lane situation, honey. When I tell you this is an official Dragon Ball tea series, <laughs> <laughs> it is, okay? So what's going down today is that Meg Thee Stallion's GQ interview that she did has now come online and everybody's going crazy. The Stallion is alleging that Tory Lanez tried to pay her to be quiet about the shooting. So this entire situation is crazy. So let me go ahead and put on my mother goose glasses, honey. I want to go ahead and read to you guys some of the interview from the GQ magazine. So this is what they're saying. Megan often tells herself, always trust your first mind. Her way of saying, listen to your gut. That night, her first mind told her to get out the car and find another way home. She tried exiting the vehicle to call for a different ride, but her phone died. It was late. She was in a bikini and everyone was telling her to just get back in. So she did even though there was an argument brewing. Megan doesn't want to get into the specifics of the dispute, who started it, what it was about, but ultimately it doesn't matter. As has been reported, when she tried to get out of the car again and walk away, according to Megan, Lane started shooting at her feet, wounding her. She tells me the rest with disbelief still in her voice. Like, I never put my hands on nobody, she says. I barely even said anything to the man who shot me. And when I was walking away, we were literally like five minutes away from the house. After he shot, she says Tori begged her not to say anything. She says he offered Megan and her friend money to stay quiet. At this point, I'm really scared, Meg says, because this is like right in the middle of all this protesting. Police are just killing everybody for no reason. And I'm thinking, I can't believe you even think I want some money like you just shot me. When the cops arrive, Megan says that she wanted to avoid trouble. She's worried that they'd get arrested or end up victims of police brutality brutality if they were found with the weapon the first thing she said to the responding officer who noticed her bloodied feet was i got cut later in october lanes would be charged with felony assault but in the immediate aftermath and details and questions dripped into the news onto social media and onto social media the incident became a kind of he said she says that twitter loves to litigate megan confirmed that she had been shot people accused her of lying eventually in august she went onto instagram to name lanes as the assailant he denied it creating a controversy that spawned Insults, jokes, and memes made at Megan's expense. Stories were leaked to the press, including screenshots of Lanes' text apology. A member of Lanes' team fabricated emails to undermine Megan's account. Somehow, before the Los Angeles County District Attorney had even weighed in, the case had been tried on social media, and improbably, Megan had become to some people more of a villain than a victim. To her, the comments of critics seemed louder than the ones of her supporters. To defend herself, she felt complied to reveal more than she wanted to. She posted a now-deleted photo of her feet with stitches post-surgery as proof that she had actually been injured. Finally, she tweeted, Black women are so unprotected. We hold so many things in to protect the feelings of others without considering our own. It might be funny to y'all on the internet and just another messy topic for you to talk about, but this is my real life and I'm real hurt and traumatized. Megan had discussed all of it, the shooting itself, the social media shitstorm, with relatives calm, but recalling her decision to tweet this kicks up all the emotions that she's now struggling to hold back. The simple feeling that she was out there alone fighting for herself and almost nobody took her pain seriously, as well as the realization that the same is endlessly true for other black women, including the ones who raised her she clears her throat when i was growing up my mom didn't have any help with me megan says everybody was doing everything that they could do to help but it was only so much my grandmother could do 
And it was like, there'll be times where I'm in the apartment with my mama and I know something's wrong, but I don't know what it is. And she pauses and tugs down on her hat. Megan's mother, Holly Thomas, died from a brain tumor in March of 2019. They were incredibly close. When she was growing up in Houston, Megan says her family wasn't rich, but it was her mom who made her feel not just that she had everything that she needed, but that she wasn't missing out on anything that she wanted either. She starts again carefully. It's weird, she says. I saw something that said, check on your strong friends. And like a lot of people, they don't do that because they think, oh, this person is so strong. So I know they got their stuff together. Mm, that's odd. And, you know, yeah, I posted that a lot on my Instagram. What if she got that shit from me? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I had to be strong for everybody. And I don't want my friends or anybody around me to feel like it's pressure on me because I feel like they all start freaking out. She says she reached out to her friends and asked, why didn't you call me? And it helped. And it helped. And now they're calling every five minutes. She says with a laugh and an eye roll that lifts us out of this dark moment onto a lighter one. So that is part of Megan's interview. It's a long interview. Y'all can go and read it yourself. But that's the most uh, part that's going viral is her saying that Tori offered to pay her. Now, Tori's lawyers have reached out to TMZ, and this is what they're saying. Tori Lanes is denying paying Megan. So this is the update. Tori's attorneys tell TMZ he never offered money to any witnesses for their silence or for any other reason. Any reports to the contrary are false. So that is what is being stated right now. This entire situation is really crazy, you know, and it's been so many twists and turns. I understand why people are kind of over it. They just don't care anymore. You know, it's just been one thing after another. Um, like I said, there's three sides to every story. His, hers, and the truth. Okay. And I feel like so many things have been changed, convoluted. And the fact that neither party would just be honest and say what happened fully you know, what I'm saying what caused the fight, what made her get out the car? You know, she says that she should listen to her gut, not gotten back in. But why did she jump out in the first place? What was going on? And that's the part that just always leaves a bad taste in everybody's mouth, because it's like you can talk about him offering to silence you and Kelsey and pay y'all money. But you're not going into details as to what actually led up to this and what happened. And I think had it just been told without certain things being omitted, People wouldn't be as frustrated as they are now with the story. I feel like there's some holes that she's saying and there's some holes that Tori's saying as well. So for me, like I've been saying for a while, I'm going to just let the courts decide. He has to go to court. He's been charged with a felony, so he has to go to trial for all this. So hopefully, you know, once the trial proceeds, all of that information will be out there. But, you know, as far as now, it's it's hard to know, you know, who's telling the full truth. You know, Kelsey tries to call herself popping up and spilling tea. But when you really get down to it, ain't no damn tea being spilled. It's nothing but Kelsey whining and, and, and ranting about bullshit. With this money situation, I would not be surprised if Kelsey took the money. Because the way that she flipped on Meg so quick, the way that they kind of flipped on each other and stopped following each other. And then you had the mom and the sister blasting Meg. And it's just been this whole back and forth over the past few months. I wouldn't be shocked at all if Kelsey took that money, you know, and that might be why they fell off is because Kelsey decided to take it and roll with Tori. And, you know, Meg is upset because that's her best friend. and Her best friend should have had her back. But like I said, there's just so much to this whole thing to unpack. I'm going to just let the courts do their job and decide if this man is guilty or not guilty, honey. So now after Tory's lawyers came out and basically denounced everything that Megan was saying, Megan took to social media and this is what she had to say. Somebody had replied to her and they said, I hate the sympathy vote. And Megan says, LOL, this success comes from my hard work. I hate the misplaced animosity comments from men hating on a woman first thing in the a.m. So that is what Megan had to say to the people coming at her file about her GQ magazine interview. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? Do you feel like Meg is telling the truth and that Tory Lanez tried to offer her and Kelsey money? Do you feel like possibly Kelsey took that money and that's why they're not close anymore? Or are you going with what Tory Lanez's lawyers are saying, which is this is a complete lie and a fabrication? So I know her new album is getting ready to drop. Maybe she'll drop some more tea in her album. 
Who knows? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to share. Last but not least, make sure you hit the notification bell so that we can be what? Down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.